Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to in particular, drop us a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Uh, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We have some great content that we drop weekly and you guys don't want to miss. So hit the subscribe and enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, um, this channel or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate Big shout out to everyone, a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys are doing is not going unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. So thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to where do lies and sins come from. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The truth behind the fall. Regarding this verse, scholars have mentioned that the meaning is we will seize Abu Jahl by his forelock and drag him into hell on the day of resurrection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the forelock of Abu Jahl as lying and sinful. Now the question that is asked is why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not describe any other part of Abu Jahl's body as lying and sinful? The verse clearly indicates that the forelock, which is the upper part of the forehead, is responsible for traits such as truthfulness and lying. For many years, they didn't know what this part of the brain did. So, uh, these had little to do with the control of the functions of the body. Now, uh, the frontal lobes, uh, here in the last 50 years, we've learned that these frontal lobes are concerned with some of the highest mental functions of animals and humans. And we've done various uh, studies which uh, show that uh, they are concerned with these highest levels uh, of our thinking. The human brain is not only one of the most important organs in the human body, it is also the most complex. The brain is divided into four major sections known as lobes. The frontal lobe, the occipital lobe, the parietal lobe and the temporal lobe have different locations and functions that support the response and actions of the human body. The frontal lobe has many functions, most which center on regulating social behavior. The function of the frontal lobe involves the ability to recognize future consequences resulting from current actions. The choice between good and bad actions or better and best, the override and suppression of socially unacceptable responses and the determination of similarities and differences between things or events. When someone lies, brain cells in the prefrontal cortex, the planning executive of the brain, works harder than when we tell the truth. Pathological liars have shown to have more white wiring matter and less grey matter in the prefrontal cortex of the brain than other people. Studies conducted with an EEG show that patients and animals that are exposed to damage of the frontal lobe hemispheres suffer from mental deficiency. Any damage to the frontal lobe changes the natural behaviour of the affected person. In some cases, this could lead to criminal behaviour and a drastic fall in moral standards. For years, a tumour was growing inside Jerry's brain, slowly pushing against his frontal lobe, the part of the brain that affects our personality and how we act. Becky says she didn't even recognise the man she married. Do you want the cavenders too? No, honey, thank you. Okay. Becky and Jerry Harper were on the verge of divorce after 18 years of marriage. One day, Jerry realized something wasn't right. I mean, I have never laid a hand on her, and one time I raised my hand at her, and... That was not you. No, that wasn't me. Here, what you see is this area of whiteness. Until one day when Jerry collapsed and doctors found out he had a non-cancerous brain tumor the size of a plum pressing against his frontal lobe. 
Over the last decade, scientists have used functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, to more accurately locate regions of the brain that changes when a person lies. This technique measures changes in blood flow in the brain, a reflection of neural activity, while people answer questions while inside a scanner. The resulting images pinpoints brain activity in a specific region during the lie and truth phases of the deception paradigms. Although several brain areas appear to play a role in deception, the most consistent findings across multiple fMRI studies is that the activity in the prefrontal cortex increases when people lie. The prefrontal cortex situated just behind the forehead is a collection of regions responsible for executive control, the ability to regulate thoughts or actions to achieve goals. So the uh, Cran has described the relationship between the frontal lobes of the brain and the ethical behavior of human beings. And uh, there is a surah, it reads, Do you see one who forbids the servant of ours, God, when he turns to pray? Do you see if he who prays follows the guidance and enjoins righteousness? Do you see if he obstructs, rejects truth and turns away? Does he not know that God sees? Let him beware. If he desists not, we, that is God, will punish him upon his forehead, a lying sinful forehead and the word used in the last two verses uh, which means the forehead the forehead is in this statement uh, we believe refers to the frontal lobes of the brain and I was asked how could the, the forehead have anything to do with uh, sinning and with uh, uh, lying and so on and I suggested that it was related to this higher function so that the act of lying is initiated by the mental activities in the frontal lobes. And its instructions are then carried out by uh, other parts of the, the brain which affect the speech organs so that they can uh, bring about these uh, unlawful acts and so on. So that we believe then that sins are planned in the frontal lobes before they're carried out by the eyes, the hands and sexual organs. The scientists mentioned that it was only 50 years ago that we discovered that this is the part of the body that is responsible for decision making. But this fact was clearly indicated in the Quran 1,500 years ago. Only those who deny the truth can deny the fact that the Quran is indeed the word of God, the Creator. God orders Muslims to perform sujud, that is place your foreheads on the ground uh, as stated in the continuance of the Quranic verses. Then let him call his associates. We will call on the angels of punishment. Then follow not him, but prostrate yourselves and draw nearer to us, that is God. This order to perform sujud uh, means we should place the center of our will and decision-making processes on the ground to show absolute submission to God. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 
interesting video um nowadays we're faced with so much truths out there so but then people choose to be ignorant either way the people that give truths when it comes to religion history culture you name it it's really up to us to really listen to those people or ignore them but then when it comes to religion and god on that day is asking you why you decided to ignore his message what are you going to say because um why would you want to lie to God knowing that okay you died now it's judgment day and you still want to lie saying someone never brought the message to you it just doesn't sit well with me I'm just saying that there is really time let's not be ignorant let's just not be ignorant let's not let's not try think we're better than the rest of the world whatever we do in this world is going to be out there on judgment day we won't be able to hide away from god we won't be able to run away we won't be able to just do other things otherwise this video was very amazing i felt like i was back in my psychology class once again very very interesting um and do you guys really think that by uh, by bowing your by bow by bowing your head on the floor it it gives more submission like to god i hope my question makes sense i don't even know how to phrase it but otherwise that's just the only question that i had for this otherwise i enjoyed the entire video what do you guys have to say about the video the message content what do you have to say i'm sure you all picked up different points i picked some you picked some someone else picked something else as well so let us know by commenting in the comment section below and we'll do it for you and if this and we'll be glad to get your response and if there's something else that you guys want us to react to let us know by Drop in a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.